can't reach it. I can't reach it. I'm not tall enough. Thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to learn about a huge man, a giant man, and his name was Goliath. He was so mean and hurtful to God's people, and everyone was afraid of him. The Bible says that Goliath was nine feet tall. Even though Goliath was very big and scary, God is bigger. David was chosen to be king over Israel, but it wasn't his time yet because God said it wasn't his time yet. Saul was still the king, and he ended up being king over Israel for 42 years. David was just a little shepherd boy, so he spent a lot of his time taking care of his father's sheep. During this time, King Saul and the Israelite army were preparing for a battle against the Philistines, and Goliath was one of those Philistines. He teased the Israelites and challenged someone, anyone, to fight him. Why are you even here? You know you're going to lose. Look how small you are compared to us. <laughs> Pick one of your guys to come and fight me, and if he kills me, we will be your slaves. But if and when I win, you will become our slaves. Ha, ha, ha. And the Israelites, they were so afraid. Every morning and evening, for 40 days, Goliath challenged the Israelites. Then one morning, David's father asked David to bring his brothers some food. And when David got to the camp, he heard Goliath and all of his teasing and trying to challenge the rest of the Israelite army. What's gonna happen to the guy who kills him? He has no idea how powerful God is. He dares us, God's people, to fight him? Ha 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 ha. Who does, who does this guy think he is? Don't let anyone lose hope because of Goliath. I will fight him. <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> you can't go out there and fight that Philistine. We're too young, and you're just a boy. He's been a warrior since he could walk. <laughs> but I've been watching over my father's sheep, and when a and when a lion or a bear came, I rescued the sheep from its mouth. And then when it tried to attack me, I killed it. I can defeat Goliath, just like I defeated the lion and the bear. God will protect me and rescue me from the hand of Goliath. Go then, and may the Lord be with you. Then Saul let David borrow his own military clothes. David tried to walk in these military clothes for a while, all this armor, but he wasn't used to it. I can't go out there in that armor. I'm not used to it. Then David picked up his wooden staff and he chose five smooth stones. He put those stones in his bag and then he grabbed his slingshot and walked up to Goliath. Goliath was so mad because he saw a young little boy, David. What, am I a dog? You're coming at me with sticks. You're puny, okay? That's not gonna work. You might have a sword, but I'm fighting against you in the name of the Lord. He is the God of the Israelite armies. He's the one you're fighting against. Today I'll strike you down in the name of God, and the whole world will know that God is in Israel. Goliath moved close to attack David, but David reached in his bag and he grabbed out one of his stones and loaded it in his slingshot. He pulled hard on that slingshot, he let go, and it hit Goliath dead center. And Goliath fell down and died. Anything that comes against God's children is an enemy. That could be something like fear, worry, doubt, 
shame, but God is bigger than any enemy, and God is bigger than all those bad feelings that you have. Maybe there's something you have trouble with when you're in school. Maybe there's a subject that just doesn't seem like it fits, but God is greater than the struggle that you're having. Pray and ask him for help. If you have asked Jesus into your heart, then he is always with you. He will be there to fight the battle for you. And you will always have God's power to overcome any difficulty you face, just like David. Before we go today, would you please bow your heads and close your eyes? Let's pray together. Well, God, we just thank you for helping us. Thank you for always being there, for standing up for us and fighting for us when we need you most. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's head on over to the Super Fun Science Lab for some more fun things. Welcome back to the Super Fun Science Lab. Today, we learned about David and Goliath. That was a crazy story. It was really crazy. And it's real. That really mm -hmm. happened. No. Anyway, can you imagine having a slingshot and just boing, blinging it over? So, you know, that path that the rock took is called trajectory. 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 Can everybody practice saying that? Trajectory. trajectory. So, anytime an item makes an arc or flies through the sky, or even when we launch a rocket into space. trajectory scientists do very complicated mathematical equations to figure out exactly where something is going to go and so today we wanted to practice trajectory what do you think we can do to make that lesson happen well uh, we have some homemade catapults so we used some hot glue and a clothespin and a plastic spoon we're gonna see what kind of stuff we can launch. Okay, so what'd you bring for us? So I have some paper clips. I figured these would be a good thing to try first. Okay. So we're gonna use paper clips to see if we can launch them across the room. All right, across the room, huh? Oh, spoon. <laughs> wow, that almost hit the ceiling. All right, let's see what I can do. <laughs> what was it the camera? What was it the camera? I don't know what that looks like going by. All right, nice. so now these are like little binder clips. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it that oh. way. Okay, I'm gonna Not. shoot it towards the uh that way. Aw, mine didn't go very far. This thing is awesome. Okay, okay what's next? All right, these are little clay balls from, okay. So the weight is changing. So yeah, this is heavier. The trajectory should change then. Mm -hmm. Cause the lighter things are, are gonna be able to make a higher mm -hmm. arc mm -hmm. than this. Yeah. All right, let's see. That's why my paper clip hit almost at the ceiling. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, I found these in Pastor Owen's soundboard, so. Oh, these are <laughs> ear things. <laughs> these were in someone's ear. Oh, they're so big. My ear is not that big. Mine definitely isn't, but I don't know what this okay. is. Okay, this is rubbery. You did it again. Oh, that was cool. Wow. All right, I raise picks, and so I thought it would be fun to fly a pig. I Have you ever seen a pig fly? I don't raise sheep, but I still want to see it fly. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Did you see its cartwheels? Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, little friend. Ma. That was fun. Go do for you, it. Do you think the horse will fly? For sure. 
to the table. All right, come on, little horsey. Oh, <laughs> that was so fun. I want you guys to get to do it. Shauna, can I do it? Yes, but we should probably clean up our mess first. <sighs> All right. Do you want to try though? Because, I mean, it's pretty fun. All right. All right, well, I don't know. Did you hear them? Did they want to try? I don't think they were loud enough. Mm. Do you guys want to try to build your own catapult? Okay, uh, let's yeah. do it. All right, we'll meet you in class and we will make our very own catapults. Woohoo! Hope you enjoyed the super fun science lab today. Join us again next week for some more fun sciencey things. Bye. Bye.